Hey, uh, I'm going to give a quick introduction to um, Reddit data and capturing Reddit data for uh, social scientists. Um, I am a computational social scientist. I'm an assistant professor at Purdue University in the School of Communication. Um, I have recently started getting into Reddit data um, and using it for some of my research projects. I am by no means an expert, but I'm going to you know share what I've learned so far. Um, the main idea that I want to get to get at uh, is sort of these two main approaches and sort of what the weaknesses and strengths of them are and then also give a basic basic introduction that will at least get you started if you wanted to use one approach or the other get you authenticated and get you downloading data um, so that's the that's the idea um, so the if you don't know what reddit is go to reddit in fact if you want to use the the first approach I'm talking about you'll need a reddit account and you'll need to create an application. I will upload this. I'll create a link to this um, notebook so that you can look at it and you know and um, and follow along and run it yourself. Um, but that's the kind of the first thing you need to do is create an application. Um, so the two main I, the two main things I'm going to show you are one, uh, Pra, which hits the Reddit API directly. Um, and is just a wrapper around the Reddit API. In other words, uh, kind of a program that makes another program easier to run. Uh, and then also push shift, which is an archive of Reddit content um, that you can that you can access directly without going to Reddit. So I'm going to talk about kind of the strengths and weaknesses of each and show um, and show pro. So if you want to use pro, one of the weaknesses is that you'll need to authenticate at least uh, kind of at either one level or another. So you'll need to create an application uh, and then create a file called redditauth.py that's in the same directory as this one because we're going to import it. So that's right here, import reddit auth. Um, and it has to have this information, which you'll replace with actual strings, which you'll get when you create an application on Reddit. Um, so to create that, the, the reason you want it in another file uh, so that you can share your code. It's, it's really just a, a best practice. Separate your code and your authentication. That way you can share your code without worrying. You can put your code on GitHub um, and you just need to make sure that you uh, don't put this authentication file up, right? So you will uh, you know, add it to your git ignore file. That's the kind of the best practice for what to do so that if someone else got it, they could imperson impersonate you on Reddit. That's sort of the short and the long of it. So uh, I'm going to show the kind of read-only version of Pra and of the Reddit API. If you want to do things like post something from your account or send a message to another user, you'll need to also add user, oops, user and password to this um, to this call right here. So we'll ju we're just passing client ID and client secret. You have to pass the username and password as well, um, but we're not going to do that for this. So just getting read-only data. You don't need to do that. You just need the client ID and the secret. So that's what we do here. Um, you also need to create a user agent. This is just a string that says what your um, what your uh, user, what your bot is doing, right? Like what's it for? Um, I don't I don't know if anyone will ever read it or look at it, but you know you can name it something and then and then they'll they'll know what it's for if they ever looked into you know your suspicious behavior. So. We do that when you run this. And I, I'm actually not going to run these because some of them, you know, take a while for the API to return results and things. Um, not going to run all of them anyway. Uh, when you do that, it'll create a Reddit object, so that's kind of an API object that you can then use to get information, right? So I'm going to show just a few. There's a lot of cool things that you can do with this. Um, the documentation on Pra is very good. I encourage you to look at it. Uh, this is not an overview of everything that Pro can do, more like some examples of how the syntax works and some things you might want to do. So if we wanted to get the top 10 COVID related subjects or subreddits, uh, we might do something like this. So this is reddit.subreddits.search and we search for coronavirus. It'll return in whatever order, you know, Reddit chooses to order them. Uh, and then we can look at the top 10. And so we can run that. So I ran that one to give you a sense. Most are pretty quick. If it's something quick, that's just making one call. And then let's go through and print information about them. So uh, there's a number of things that are part of this subreddit object. And so if, uh, 
the idea, if, the, if that's this idea of objects and instances sounds um, strange to you, you know, I encourage you to look into kind of object-oriented pro programming in Python. But the, the big idea is that, that there are attributes of the, this thing that gets returned when we uh, do this search is uh, a subreddit object, right? A subreddit, an instance of a subreddit. Um, and so each of these instances has uh, attributes and has functions that you can do with it. So uh, this s.display name is the display name for the subreddit. And so we print that s.subscribers is the number of subscribers. And so there's a bunch of metadata information you can get about the subreddits. You can also do things like what we're gonna do in a second, which is use that subreddit uh, object to then you know get the comments for that subreddit for example so that's what we're going to do here um, so this creates a comment dictionary and then for each of the subreddit in the top ones um, gets the uh, creates a current comments list so we initialize both of those as being empty and then gets 500 comments so subreddit comments it, it uses that object again uses that object and makes this uh, call to, to the method of that object. So, so the method is this comments method, which you know creates, basically sends another call to the API saying, give me the last 500 comments from this subreddit. Uh, and then, so for each of the comments, we then extract the body. It's in, it's in comment.body. So these, these comments, again, are objects. Um, they're instances of, of comments. And so we can extract the body from them and we put those into a list, into this cur comments text list. And then finally, we put that cur comments text list into the comment dictionary using the subreddit display name. And then this is what it's gonna look like. Um, it'll actually just, I, I changed this, so it was just the display name, so it'll be a string for the subreddit, and then a bunch of text, right? A bunch, a list of strings for each comment from that subreddit. So that's a, an example, so, um, Here's another, if we um, if we wanted to get information about users. So this is, if I look in the Purdue subreddit um, and I get the last 10 comments, so I'll get the last 10 comments, and then for each of the comments, I'll get the author of that comment and append it to a list called authors. And then I'll um, iterate through the authors and print the name and their comment karma. So these are the last 10 people. Of course, there's an inappropriate one. Uh, people that commented to, on Purdue subreddit. So that is, uh, and that is kind of one of the, the main benefits of using uh, pra and using uh, the Reddit's API instead of using push shift is that number, is that they, you can get user data. And the other use case when you'd want to use it is if you wanted to get really up to date data about scores, for example. So the, Proc just or push shift grabs stuff as quick as it can and then kind of goes back every once in a while and updates the the comment score and the the um, the vote for submissions etc. Um, and so it there could be a delay. And so if you need something, if you're looking at things that are happening right now and you need the scores, then use the the Reddit API. Otherwise, I really suggest using push shift. It's really great. Jason Baumgartner has done a great job archiving everything, all the comments and posts on Reddit. Um, and that's great, I encourage you to dig into it. Um, it's organized not around users, but around submissions and comments. So it's designed to let you kind of search and get you know kind of huge uh, swaths of data uh, around a topic, for example. Um, and so if you're doing something like that, it's great for it. So this is how you would do that same sort of thing, get the last 500 comments from a subreddit, it's a it's lower level. There is a wrapper for push shift called PSA or PSAW, uh, which actually sort of integrates PRA and push shift and, and can be really great. Um, I encourage you to look into that if you'd like, but you can also just call directly sort of using requests and it's pretty easy. So this is the comments endpoint. Uh, and what we're gonna do, you set up parameters. Excuse me, we'll do the same thing. So for each of the subreddit in the in our list of 10, um, take the display name, and that's gonna be the subreddit we want, and we want 500 comments, and then we uh, make a, a call to that endpoint with those parameters, and then we get, this is a little bit more complicated, this is gonna return a dictionary, right? So it's art at JSON as a dictionary, 
we're going to get the data, uh, the value of the data item in the dictionary, um, and then we're going to extract the body. So that's the, the text of a comment. And we're going to um, make a list of all those, right? So this is a list of all those, and we'll put it into the comment dictionary. So it's the same exact thing. I wanted to finally, as a last thing, uh, kind of code example, show how you would do that. So 500 is the most you could get. If you wanted to get more than that, more than 500 comments, you need to pass this before parameter. Um, and so here's kind of a way to do that um, with a, a while loop. If you wanted to get 2000 comments, uh, for example, so what you would do is uh, create a while loop. So we'll create a current comments list. So this part's the same, create a comment dictionary, initialize before to an empty string. Um, and then for each subreddit, and I just did it uh, the first two, just so that it'd be quicker to run this. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll try and run it while I'm explaining it and see if it finishes before I do. Uh, we'll create a, an empty list called current comments. And then while the length of that list is less than 2000, we're gonna do the following. Create parameters with subreddit before and size, and then send that request. And this time we're gonna add the results, add all that, that list of text to our cur comments list. So we'll do that. And then finally, in order to get the, the ones that are older, so this by default, this um, gets uh, the newest 500 from newest to oldest, right? So, um, so the newest one's at the top. And so in order to get the, the next group, we go to the very last comment. So that's what this does. So our JSON data is the comments. This is the last comment and we get the created UTC. So the time that that's when, that one was created, we set that to before. And then for the next run through, this before will be equal to that, um, to that time. And so we should get a set of comments that are the next 500 that are before that one. And then finally, once we have all of the comments for all 2000, we will uh, add them to the comment dictionary for that display name. Oh, and it, it barely beat me, it just finished. Um, even with my sleep, my timer, and then we sleep for 20 seconds. So that's how it works. Um, you can see if we look at the length of the first one, it does have 2000 comments. Um, yeah, so that is a basic introduction to, uh, to Reddit data um, and how to use either PRA or um, the PushShift API to start getting data to, to do research.